person number two we're gonna speak with is the wonderful Asia from Pandemonium. Hey y'all. And hey y'all. <laughs> and this is uh, the panda. Um, first of all, the first thing I noticed when I saw this, besides the color, right. was your solar panels. So what is going on with the solar? Well, I have 300 watts on the roof because people are like, why don't you just do it on the roof? I have 300 on the roof already. So there's no more space up there. And I wanted more solar because I just need it. I'm a power hungry person. <laughs> so I decided to put them on the side. And uh, total, everything included, uh, I have about 1,100 watts in solar. Mm -hmm. So these are the big panels and I put them on door hinges they're stainless steel door hinges and I just bolted them all the way through the wall it's kind of like a sandwich effect there's a plate on the other side as well uh-huh so and I've driven several thousand miles and they've held up what I also like about it is that it, it provides shade for the windows too yeah it's because well if you've ever camped in the desert you know if the sun hits your glass it radiates through yeah so it can cause your vehicle to get hot so yeah it mm -hmm. keeps it cooler definitely yeah and i mean also it allows me to just pivot them any way i want to so yeah i like or, that i mean if the sun's really high i can put them up high yep and if, if for, for those people who haven't seen your videos or aren't familiar with you would you tell us what kind of content you're making just the vlogging style, just people I meet, and places I go, things I see, sometimes tours. Yeah, and boondocking and things like that. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and how long have you been on the road? This February will be three years. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. So do you normally boondock or do you do um, campgrounds? Like I, what's, what's I, your favorite? I rarely do campgrounds. It's, it's mainly free boondocking. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you do YouTube full time, and that's how you're able to travel and things like that. Exactly. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a that's a dream job. Could we get a peek inside? Sure. All right. Hey, man. So, what was the year and model of this? This is an '89 Lazy Days. Mm -hmm. It's on a Chevy chassis, mm -hmm. 350 engine. Yeah. Cool. So sorry. That's the thing about being out in the desert is dust. <laughs> It's yeah, so. it sure does. Yeah, um, so it's a basic layout. My bathroom is here mm -hmm. with the shower and the toilet. I have my bed back here. I do also have a bed up there, but I it's just a pain in the so I don't. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Yeah. Yep, and I see a little heater here for yeah. when it gets a little cold. This is a 12 volt refrigerator. It's full size 12 volt refrigerator. It runs nice. just off of solar. Wow. So. Any, any goodies inside? Uh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Organic and, veggies. Right, and then it freezer. does have a freezer. Yeah. Nice. Very yeah. cool. So. What what got you into RVing and and off the grid uh, living? Well, my dad was in the service, so we traveled a lot when I was younger, and then when I got older, I just kind of became static in one spot, and just got bored with it. I yeah. wanted to travel more, so yeah. On an RV, and here I am. Now, would you ever go back to living, say, in an apartment or a house? I own or... a home. Oh, you do? Yeah, it's in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, so that's another income, too. So. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, and here's where my batteries This is where the old refrigerator was. Uh huh. But I ripped it out because I was having problems with it, so. And. Oh, wow. It's eight batteries. Wow. And it's in series and parallel, it's six volt. Okay. So, yeah. Gotcha. Very cool. Thanks. I like it. Um, and I'd like to ask this question, like, what advice would you have for somebody who wants to, like, full-time in a school bus or RV or, or a vehicle like that and travel around? Well, I hear this a lot, and I, I believe it. Um, everybody always waits till everything is perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just get on the road. Things will work out for you. So. I agree with that. Yeah, very cool. Well, thank you so much for uh, showing me around. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's, it's fun to see other people's rigs and how they're all decorated and, and how you make home. Is that kombucha right there? It is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we, we're we definitely going to be friends yeah, for sure. I, I don't know if people like to see. Some people are like grossed out by that. They're like, ew. <laughs> oh, I love kombucha. Yeah. Huge fan. So. so, awesome. Well, we'll see you on the road. Thanks, y'all. All right. <laughs> see ya.